made her dreams come true. Miss Suzanne, your manuscript at present is nigh unto incoherent. And that's bad? Ah, yes. Oh, well, Mr. Picky. Buster, you just hold on. Where's she going? Isn't she great? Jackie and uh, Irving had a really curious marriage. He was mad about her, and he was completely supportive of her and her talent or lack of it. He just thought she was a queen. I seen, haven't seen that many marriages like that, but my husband is very supportive of me. My husband is terrific. He's great to me. He really is. He's picked up a lot of slack. You know, I have a daughter, and he has helped me tremendously. If I, if I didn't have him, I mean, I don't know what I would have raised. You know, every other year I was gone for four months doing a picture or go, doing a tour, and he always picked up the slack. and. And he thinks everything you do is wonderful? Everything. Never a criticism? Well, of no, I wouldn't go that far. He, <laughs> he says, my taste in handbags is scrotal. <laughs> he says, it's really a shame. <laughs> and English is not his first language. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> his first language is German. She married Martin von Hasselberg in 1984 after a two-month courtship. The event, of course, was formal. The ceremony took place at a chapel in Las Vegas. Their daughter, Sophie, is now 13 years old. What do you most hope that she doesn't do that you did? Swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing. You're really aiming that is, high there. I'm, well, you know what? Around Why? My, because I really, I don't. But swearing, isn't it liberating? Swearing is, isn't no, it? well, swearing is good for some things. Swearing is good for venting. But swearing is not good to express yourself about everything. Cursing isn't. Is cursing is like supposed to be like a spice. It's not supposed to be the main course. What do I hope she doesn't do that I... Oh, there's so many things. But if you so could give her an things. injection, an, an inoculation to ensure that she's going to breeze right by that one. I think... I can't do that, but what I, what I am hoping for is that she will find something that she loves with all her heart find a passion, something in life that she finds so intriguing and so exciting that every day she leaps out of bed with, with a joy and, 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 and an enthusiasm to get her day started. If you could go back and experience one moment again for, the, for its sweetness, f knowing how to experience it mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. what would it be? Oh, I, there's so, so many. I won a Grammy when I, for my first record. And I didn't know what it, I didn't know what a Grammy was. I came from the middle of the Pacific Ocean and things, I, and I was basically a foreigner. I was, I might as well have been an Australian. I mean, I, I didn't know anything. My dear, isn't that a hoot? Me and Miss Karen, what a hoot. Thank you very, I'm surprised she didn't hit me over the head with it. Thank you very much. And when Johnny Carson took me to Las Vegas for the first time, I didn't know what that meant either. I didn't know that he had chosen me to, to come, and I didn't know what a big honor it was. I mean, I, I was thrilled, but I didn't get it. I would have given everything to have had one whiff of how I think you must have experienced your whole career as just being on top of it. I didn't experience it. I didn't experience it. Isn't that terrible? I had like little seconds tiny little bits of it. it was really interesting and when I got to be 50 I looked back and I said this happened to you and that happened to you and remember this and remember that and suddenly it 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 was compressed and focused but while I was living it it was very strange it was speedy couldn't get a grasp on it. I, it was, it happened really fast and it was. It seemed too so precarious. Much, yeah, yeah. And it was very precarious and, and there was so much going on that you couldn't really, you know, it was like, you know, it was this thing shimmering in front of you and it was very hard to reach out and grab it. When I actually turned around and looked at it and said, oh, oh, it was, an, it was fabulous. It was fabulous. And it wouldn't, I wouldn't care if I, I wouldn't care. I mean, except for my daughter. I don't really mean that. You know what I mean. Does this mean you've given up the fear that tomorrow it's poof? No. Oh, absolutely. 
Absolutely. You've given that up. I have given that up. I have given that up because I've been there. So when I turned 50 after spending all these years being, uh, you know, under this kind of cloud, ah, it wasn't good enough, ah, ah. Um, I turned around and I looked and I realized it was good enough. It was damn good and it was fun. It was great. Good for me.